Hello everyone. Today I will be discussing about a poem named Dior Slamand. This poem is found in the Exeter book and it is an Anglo-Saxon poetry written in old English. This poem is also available in um modern english there are uh, many translations available the original version consists of 42 lines and uh, just as the title dior's lament dior is a person and he is lamenting about something mm, and in the first few stanza it is not revealed what the sorrow of dior what his misery is not revealed in the first few stanza only the last stanza we will understand what dior's actual misery is and uh, in this poem dior says about some german mythological figures um, who have gone through certain uh, struggles and misfortunes and uh, you can see that each stanza ends with a refrain that is one peculiarity of this poem we all know that old english poem or anglo saxon poem doesn't have such figures uh, such as refrain but this one this one poem is notable for its refrain this is the refrain of that was overcome so may this be and each stanza we can see that see that refrain that's a, a notable point in this poem this anglo saxon poem not all anglo saxon poem only a few uh, has this kind of refrain included in it okay uh, the first in the first stanza dio says about Uh, a german mythological character named wieland and uh, it's a straight forward poem we can see that wieland is a strong man mm? he is a strong man he is a strong minded man he was a brave man a courageous man and he was caught by his enemy named nidad and he him he, he together with his uh, companions was caught by nidad and vilan was put put with fetters and uh, he has suffered during his imprisonment under nidad and um, that was his misery that was vilan's misery and after uh, narrating vilan's misery dio says that that was overcome so may this be uh, uh, since vilan gone through such a sorrowful condition he overcame that he overcame that um, dior meant to say that everyone has certain misery in their life and after some time that will overcome and so my misery so may this be so my misery will also be overcome that is dior is intending to say and secondly he says about bedolin it's a it's a female character from german mythology and she was not as sad in mind for the death of her brothers her brothers died in some kind of war or some fight her brothers died and that is not at all a sorrow for bedolin compared to her pregnancy so bedolin is um pregnant through someone who is unknown and she is uh, mourning about uh, her pregnancy and not about her brother's death according to her her biggest sorrow is her pregnancy not her brother's death and that was overcome and this lady overcame this trouble and so this may be so my trouble will also be overcome says dior thirdly he says about matilda okay matilda is mourning she is mourning day and night 
she uh, she uh, she is uh, very sorrowful that she cannot sleep at night that is because she has lost her love she was the lady of the geet and uh, somehow she lost uh, her love and she couldn't sleep uh, because of her sadness and that too overcame as time passed her sorrow also overcame as time passed so dio says that my sorrow will also be fade away at some point of time and uh, next he then he says about theodric theodric is the ruler of the city of manings and he he was also in sorrow he ruled uh, the city of manings for over 30 years and uh, during those time he might have pay, faced a lots of trouble as a ruler he will sure encounter with certain uh, troubles that he should face and that trouble also overcame this ruler this brave ruler ruler overcame those troubles so i dior dior can also overcome his and he next says about ermanrix ermanrix is the king of ostrogoths and the uh, dio says that ermanrix is a grim king and uh, he is in sorrow that he was separated from his people as a king uh, separating from his people is a grievous moment and that moment also he overcame and so dio will surely overcame his overcome his trouble too mm, and um, uh, towards the last stanza of the poem it is revealed that what actually dior's uh, sorrow is and here dior was a minstrel or a scope uh, in the uh, in the court of hedonings and he introduces himself he was dear to his lord and his name is dior and uh, it is notable that dior was dear to the king and uh, he was a minstrel there and he served the king for many years and once a rival named horenda he came Mm, as i said that dior was um uh, hedonings uh, favorite uh, minstrel but uh, um, and um, he was provided with gifts and fortunes uh, by the king he was given land he was given a uh, luxurious life and uh, but uh, when horenda came dio got replaced by this horenda hedonings was uh, the king was very much pleased with horenda and dio was thrown out from the court and horenda were given all the fortunes that were uh, in possession of dio and dio now has nothing he other his land given by hedonings was taken away and is given to horenda and every gifts every valuable things were given to horenda and his position as a minstrel was also replaced by this man named horenda so now dio is in trouble not in trouble he is in sorrow he is in misery <clears throat> that he has nothing left his lord has um abandoned him mm, but uh, he is still um hoping that this misfortune will overcome as all these people all these mythological characters they may these characters may be gods or people with super powers and such people uh, also had to face certain miseries in their life so as a common man dio says that every 
every one will face some kind of trouble or misfortune in their life and that will surely be one day over kain and dior uh, even though he says different uh, problems of people he unites everything that uh, everyone has certain troubles and everyone will one day overcome uh, that misfortune so so dior will also uh, overcome his Uh, the poem the poem's theme is uh, one common to anglo-saxon poetry and the theme is that a man cannot escape his fate uh, he cannot escape from his fate he cannot escape from the misfortune he cannot escape from the mystery but still he can meet it with courage it's up to our mind that's the thing uh, that we have to do we have to face it with courage and fortitude Uh, then only we will be able to uh, survive and he says that god uh, in a person's life god gives both good and bad things and uh, if bad things happen we should face it with courage rather than uh, blaming his fate and that is all about this poem dior's lament uh this is what i understood from the poem uh thank you